First and foremost, this is the first of its kind. The Archbishop Richard Smith has been in his position for 10 years, and this is the first official meeting at the Al Rashid Mosque. The Al Rashid Mosque is looking at this as a, a, another way to, to build uh, bridges and, and bring the different communities together and actually start building a partnership and, uh, and dialogue between the two great communities. Um, I mean, combined together, uh, the Catholics and Muslims, uh, that's almost half the world. I just saw such a genuine uh, reaching out from the Archbishop uh, and Julian Hammond and, and the Catholic Diocese. And, and really, uh, we were very humbled, to be honest, and uh, it's, it's, uh, it's an opportunity uh, for building partnership, building brotherhood, uh, and, and, and bringing hearts together. I think for too long, like Sadiq said, we haven't had these interactions, both interfaith dialogue, uh, intercommunity dialogue. I think all of these things need to happen. You know, if Canada truly is that mosaic that we claim it to be, we need to reach out and, and work together. You know, we need to be able to say, yes, I have a connection with the Somali community and I have a connection with the Ukrainian community. I have a connection with uh, the Jewish community, the Catholic community, all the different communities together. Um, I think if you look globally, Canada is actually ahead of most places in the world for that. But I think to stay there, we really need to keep working on it and create these community connections, which I think are very, very important. You, for example, when I met one, one very devout Catholic uh, sister, she said to me, chastity is something important. And I looked at her and I said, I said tell, me, tell me more about this. And she said, my, my body is my temple. So she goes, I, I take it serious. And I looked at her and I said, this is something important to me as a Muslim man as well, that my body is a temple. Uh, the hijab, what I can tell you about the hijab, I can sugarcoat it and tell you. <laughs> it's, it's wonderful and stuff, but you know what? It's a command. It's a command in the Quran. We sometimes, we just don't challenge our command. We explore it. It's a religious symbol. I love in the Catholic system the devotion and the dedication. I find that, um, especially the Catholics, um, they're not as easy um, as other individuals to kind of let things go and say like, well, you know what, um, is this prayer really necessary? Or is Lent really a thing that we have to do, right? And they hold fast to the original um, readings of the Bible, which I respect uh, a great deal. And even like um, some of the greatest writers to me are the Catholic writers. <laughs> perspective of the Catholic Church, when it comes to outreach to peoples of other faith, including our, mother, our Muslim brothers and sisters, there's no turning back. There's only going forward. The commitment of the Catholic Church to this outreach and this dialogue is resolute and it's irrevocable. We continue this. Now that has played out internationally and we've seen the commitment visible in action of the Popes. The mosque in Islam is, is everything, is the engine of the Ummah. The mosque is not just a place of worship. The mosque is a place of worship, is a social club, is uh, an educational center, is a resort for everyone. Whoever needs anything, he should go to the mosque. You talked about the mosque as sort of a center of brotherhood, if I can put those words forward, and that's what we experienced here tonight. Just that, that wonderful invitation to welcome and let's... It was, out of a, it was out of a recognition that the relationships that we have had have been very good and cordial, but we want to deepen those. And the best way to deepen any relationship is through personal encounter. And that's what they have made possible here by inviting us to the mosque. Uh -huh.